You know, there are a lot of videos on YouTube about how changing your vibe will change your life. Now, unfortunately, I think there are far more people who have tried changing their vibe and then are very disappointed that their life has not changed. So in this video, I thought I would share why I think and have experienced why changing your vibe is not enough to change your life. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here. Now, before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet to help you design your dream life, get your life together, and figure out how to build a really, really fulfilling, incredible life. So the first link right below this video has a link to download the free journaling worksheet and you'll get a free email series on journaling as well. Now, I have a female friend and she came to me recently because I'm the self-growth dude and she said that she was very frustrated with two things. The fact that somehow she was diabetic and also the fact that she wasn't really finding the kind of men she liked and she wasn't finding love. Now, this particular person had done everything. As part of her growth journey to raise her vibe, as she called it, you know, I live in LA, so a lot of Californians talk this way. She said that she'd done all the normal things. She'd been going to Tony Robbins seminars. She'd been doing the daily priming exercises. She'd been watching videos on how to raise her vibration, been following new age advice and listening to Marianne Williams. And frankly, she felt that despite all the work she was doing, she still hadn't found love, and frankly, her health was still bad, and she was still diabetic. And so she had felt like, despite all of this work that people had encouraged her to do to raise her vibe, she felt almost as if God was punishing her, because her vibe had not changed whatsoever. But she did everything besides one thing, which was acting, changing specific habits about her life. And to me, it brings up a really good point. Because so many of us are sitting there frustrated that our life is not changing. And we think we are doing all the advice from an inner manifesting spiritual perspective, but change is not happening. And it's often because we are missing one thing. Listen, changing your vibe is just one piece of the puzzle of changing your life. Give me answers to these few scenarios, okay? Let's say you're diabetic. You went to your doctor, you got your blood work done, and he or she says, you have diabetes, you should get on these medications, even though you're 32, you're going to be on them the rest of your life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Is meditating, changing your vibe, mental emotional work, is that really going to be the thing that changes your diabetes? I know some of you could argue yes, but in my opinion, no. The way you change your blood work is by changing your diet and your exercise and your stress. That will guaranteed do it 95 out of 100 times. Thinking and changing your vibe won't. Now, example number two, let's say you want to write a book and you've been doing the mental work. Give me my idea, universe. You've been doing the spiritual work, you know, trusting your intuition, listening to your gut, and you still haven't written a book. It's been a year, right? 2021, 2022, 2023 will come and you still don't even have 10 pages written in your book. So did changing your vibe, raising your vibe help you write that book? You could argue a lot of things, but I don't see a damn book. All right, third one. Let's say you want to become a YouTuber. You're doing your affirmations. You're doing your self-growth work. You're doing the new age principles. You're doing the manifesting advice, but you still don't have a YouTube channel with at least a thousand subscribers. So what gives? You were doing all the inner work, but you didn't even upload 50 videos in the last year. And let's say you want to find love. You're at home. You're doing your affirmations, your intentional work. You're journaling. You're praying, you're asking to meet the dream guy or the dream girl, and a year or three or five have passed and you have not found love. What gives? In all of these scenarios, the thing missing is action. And I think so many of us are addicted to this raise your vibe or change your vibe thing because it doesn't require us to really act that much different on a daily basis besides the way we think, which is still important. But at the end of the day, the diabetic still has to change their diet and track those daily habits. That person who wants to write a book every day has to write a thousand words. The person who wants to get fit needs to go to the gym four days a week. The person who really wants to become a YouTuber needs to upload their video every single week for years. And the person who wants to find love, yes, of course, needs to work on themselves. But maybe you know what they need? To pick up a salsa class. And that's the way they're going to meet men or women organically. So in all of these aspects of changing your vibe, we often miss changing our daily habits and our daily rituals. And that has often been the single most effective thing for me and something I think so many people miss out on. Yes, there's the inner and that will give you more 
inner alignment and flow and peace, but the outer is doing the habit work. And you need to usually have both. But if I had to put my money on only one, it would just be on someone who's doing the work, doing those daily habits that are simple, but also simple not to do day in and day out. That's the way you guarantee change your life. So I think for so many people, the mindset stuff is fun and appealing and easy. Just manifest your dream life, but we forget to act and take daily action towards getting better. And one of the companies that I've worked with the most that's helped me a lot has been Skillshare. So for example, building out this YouTube channel, yes, raising my vibe is key, but learning how to shoot, produce, edit content that helps people was just as, if not more key. And for example, one of the courses that helped me was on Skillshare called Videography for Beginners and helped me learn how to become a better person creating content on the internet. Now, Skillshare is one of the companies that I use and I've partnered with. Check out all of the online learning communities and programs that Skillshare has with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics like illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. So take, for example, this course called DIY Filming that I went through. It really helped me, number one, figure out how to really storyboard my video in a much more strategic way versus just being a teacher, as well as how to properly prep a short but sweet kind of highlight reel, as well as edit it, put it together, and really polish it to be a much, much better presented piece of content. So Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. Members get unlimited access to thousands of these different kinds of classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions of people. Now the classes are usually under an hour and they have short lessons to help you fit any schedule. But I would definitely go ahead and check out some of the topics that you might like. So check out the link below, which is a special offer that Skillshare has put together for Modern Health Monk viewers, that for the first 1,000 people, it'll give you one month free trial of Skillshare. So make sure you guys check it out. It's the link right below this video. And don't forget on your quest to be better. Yes, raise your vibe, but take deliberate daily action. And learning new skills like the ones I've highlighted here on Skillshare are some of the best ways to get started. All right, guys, so check them out, the link right below. And I have two other related videos for you right over here.